community, and that's what I love about it. It's just full of spark at 4.30 in the morning. There's the energy that starts my day, my cup of coffee. Thank you so much for waking up with us. He's known around Metro Detroit as the premier golf expert. Yes, and despite turning 50 next year, Bob Krause hasn't given up on his dream of one day being a professional golfer. <laughs> Steve Garagiola shows us how a Red Wings legend is helping Bob realize that dream. This is Bob Krause. You may know Bob from his golf tips on our webpage, click on Detroit. Bob's got game. I'm going to try to hit it at that oak tree and draw it. It's one thing to think it, but he can actually do it. Two decades ago, Bob Krause was a professional golfer. Now, when I say PGA, you're thinking Tiger Woods, Phil Mickelson, but the PGA is a lot like baseball. You have the major leagues and the minor leagues. Bob never made it to the show. Made it to AAA, and I actually went to Q School. Q School is a qualifying tournament for PGA Tour hopefuls. The top players get a tour card. Everybody else makes a decision. Keep chasing the dream or face a hard reality. So I said, either I'm going to give it one more year or I'm going to give up. And so that's what I did. I gave it one more year, went to Canadian Q School, didn't really get through that. And uh, I was on a downside of my mediocre <laughs> professional career. So Bob went into sales, and he's done very well. Golf became a hobby. A hobby that, by the way, he's really good at. So there you go. For Bob Krause, the dream still burns bright. He turns 50 next summer and will be eligible for the seniors PGA Tour. And he's got a plan. I'm taking the next six months to get physically ready. If I can get physically to where I need to be, the mental will follow. So Bob is chasing a dream. And a dream doesn't just happen. It takes a lot of hard work. And in his case, some help from some pretty good friends on his team. Without bending your knees, cross your hands over and try to go down and touch your toe. Oh, this is bad. So this is the beginning test, initial assessment, kind of see where he's limited and where he already excels at. And then from there, we can kind of base program around what we see. He's at 2SP, a training that? facility in Madison Heights, where you're likely to see off-season pros working out, like Red Wings goalie Jimmy Howard. Bob has a team. Down. Thanks to a good friend, good. former down. Red Wing Mickey Redman, good. who good. wants Bob down. to reach his dream. We're going to take this year to get Bob in condition, both mentally and physically, put him in place. He's got a great toolbox on the golf course. we got to get it all together so he can get those tools out of that box and go shoot 65, 66 every day. Oh, yeah. nice and easy. Life. My finish position is terrible. Also on Bob's team, Red Wings dietitian Lisa McDowell. Today was about setting a baseline. Your LDL is high, yeah. your triglycerides are high, okay. your fasting blood sugar is high, and your blood pressure is high. And just like in golf, in this game, a high number is not what you're going for. Not only does he want to get in shape for returning to golf, but we also want to get those risk factors removed, and uh, we feel that lifestyle is the way to do it. So Bob's journey is underway, and this first day was emotional for him. It's humbling, it's unbelievable, really, to have uh, a group like this, including my wife, <sighs> believe in me and my talent, uh, and giving me another shot. I said to Bob in the beginning, if you never hit a golf ball again, and you get down to 225, and you feel better about yourself up here and all over here, you win. Over the next 11 months, we'll keep tabs on Bob as he chases his dream. I'm Steve Garagiola, Local 4. Great of Bob to let us follow along that intimately too, right? I was going to say that because it's hard enough just to verbalize your dream because sure. now you put yourself out there. Now right. he's put him, himself put it on in record. front of Metro Detroit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And really, and the people that are stepping up to help him. You see, cool. it, it, that says a lot about Bob, but he's yeah. got those he's kind of people invested in him. Exactly yeah. right. All right.